right now we're at White Oak Community Center. This was the second center we were at. We started in 1999 at the Caulfield Center. We're trying to level the playing field. There's not much lacrosse in the culture or in the schools or in the playgrounds in half of the Montgomery County and the other half uh, in the eastern part of the county, uh, the lower part of the county. They've been playing a lot of lacrosse since they were five and six years old. So when they get to high school, uh, the scores between the, your Whitmans and BCCs uh, against a Springfield or, or Einstein or, or Wheaton are very lopsided, and we're trying to we're trying to change that. You know, when I look back, I think lacrosse gave me so much, and kind of as I tracked my progression of life, I think my, my passion for teaching the game started here with MoCo lacrosse and getting to be a coach and learning from the older coaches that were here as well. Um, I think this is doing a lot for the kids. Um, a lot of kids, I think, in this area may not have ever been ex uh, introduced to lacrosse. Um, I know from where I where I grew up at. Uh, this sport was, was not amongst us. The Olympics are happening right now and I actually interned for the Rio Olympics. I was at NBC Sports headquarters and that's an example of something that lacrosse gave me because I had that on my resume of saying, hey, you know, I, I played lacrosse in high school, I'm playing now in college, I've coached with these different organizations including MoCo Lacrosse. That stood out on my resume. My social media skills stood out on my resume that are solely directly from lacrosse and so I think it's just an amazing, you know, kind of lane that opens you up to all the different things that you can do. Upper Montgomery County, uh, lacrosse is really popular and down here lacrosse isn't as popular so when I was little I didn't have that experience until I went to Bethesda and got taught and this and that and now I want to teach them that and give them an opportunity to uh, learn lacrosse. For me I didn't know about lacrosse in elementary school or middle school I only found it in high school so I think this program has like established a building block that allows students to dream and to know what's possible as they grow.